Oh, hello, viewers. Welcome to the spin-off group therapy. And by spin-off, I mean it's, it's it's essentially a rambling video. I got a special guest today. Um, I'm just gonna let him introduce himself. Future rule of one, two, three, here. <laughs> I, I like his enthusiasm. He's just like, yeah, I don't even give a shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm playing, uh, Mario Run. Mario Run. Is that, so, is that, like, on your tablet? Yep. Oh, okay. Because I forgot, Nintendo's kind of trying to get into the mobile, uh, market. Yeah, uh, from what I understand, though, Mario Run was kind of a failure because they charged ten bucks for it. Uh -huh. Well, that, that might explain it. I mean, like, I don't, I don't know. How's the quality? How's, like, the substance of the game? What would you, like, s say is a more appropriate price? I don't know. Probably the same, the same thing most people charge. At least $5. $5? At most $5. $5. Yeah, if they had it, they would have had much better sales. See, I would have thought more along the lines of maybe like three ninety nine. Well, yeah, it's usually four to five dollars. I would have said three ninety nine. So, uh, like a lot of RPGs, you get for three ninety nine, and they'll of course have more in this game substance in this game, but because it's a Nintendo product, you uh, bump up the value a little because of name branding. So it'll probably be about five dollars. Okay. So, I think something important to tell the viewers. Because, I mean, like, this happened the other day. This is not our first attempt at, like, doing, uh, this, this whole entire thing. We tried it yesterday, and it, it, went, it went terribly. Yep, we just couldn't get in sync. Well, I mean, yeah, and I'm also shitty at giving direction. Yeah, uh, eh, it happens. <laughs> You're, you're just gonna take that? You're just gonna be like, yeah, but it's all Gildo's fault. Everybody blame him. <laughs> no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm Go fuck saying yourself, Gildo. It's an automatic thing that happens, basically. Yeah. Oh, man, I, I gashed um, myself yesterday at work. My arm, was, uh, my arm is very, very sore. Uh... We were going over earlier, history of Bomberman. History of, uh, uh, you see, it's really confusing because I'm not really sure on the start of Bomberman. Yeah. Um, I want to say like the regular Nintendo, but I don't even think that's true. But um, I wasn't sure if all was a remake or not. I don't know. <laughs> I I'm not I'm not like very knowledgeable on the Bomberman series. Well, in any case, I haven't played one since the GameCube before the Switch. Now, uh, I the last one I played was for the Nintendo 64. Yeah, I played. So, uh, I played. Uh, what was it Bomberman 64? And then I played Bomberman Heroes, and I was like, this this game is pretty cool. But apparently, there was a game in between, and I didn't even know about that until later on in life. Well, anyways, I felt the need for nostalgia, so I went ahead and got. That along with Breath of the Wild, but I haven't even touched Breath of the Wild. Yet. So you got a Switch? Yeah. Yeah. No. Like one thing that the audience doesn't know is that you got a Switch. Yeah. Yeah. The audience got a Switch, and it's pretty cool so far. But I'm probably only going to use it as a handheld. Okay. See, I, I was debating about getting the Switch, and uh, I, I would legitimately was. Then I decided I didn't want to spend four hundred and fifty dollars to get Breath of the Wild, so I just, I, I just got the, uh, the Wii U version. Did you get that one already? Uh, no. Apparently, so apparently, when you go order it, uh, everyone and their moms, like, pre-ordered it. So there's like a backup in the system. So I'm not getting it until Sunday. The okay. day that this comes out. Well, um. In any case, uh, yeah, this is kind of like we use Swan Song while at the same time the uh, Switch is launch title. It's an establishing game. Well, so. I mean, if you really want to get down to it, it's kind of like Twilight Princess. 
Yeah, it's basically a two-pronged attack. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's nothing with the Wii version of Twilight Princess, but, like, right from the get-go, I was like, I, I want the GameCube version. I don't I don't want motion controls. Yeah, I probably should have went with that one myself. I, I don't know if that's the better way to go about things, though. That, that's just it. It's like, because, sure, I can't... It, it looks kind of fun because, you know, you're swinging the Wii remote and in turn you're also sweet, like having Link do the same thing. But I was just like, I, I kind of just want regular controls here. I just, I kind of want just like, you know, to control it like the Wind Waker. Yeah, I can't fault you on that logic. I, uh, I, I gotta be honest though, I don't remember Twilight Princess a whole lot. I beat it in a span of three days and I never went back to just like take my time with it. Well, a lot of people love it because it's a darker Zelda. But like, see, uh, like, I would, I would say Majora's Mask is the better darker Zelda. Yeah. People people who like Majora's Mask tend to like Twilight Princess. It's alright. I mean, like, if I remember correctly, it, it has, like, some really good scenes. I remember, like, the most memorable scene is, like, probably this really fucked up scene. Where, like, you're in this ice, uh, you're in this ice area, right? And you have to, like, help these two yetis. And, there, and there's like this female yeti and she's all like cutesy and just like I, she's obsessed with a mirror I don't remember why she like I think it was like she likes watching herself and then all of a sudden like uh, you have to lead her into this one room and you get into the room and she starts like twitching and doing this weird thing and it, it's really eerie and then she turns towards you and then just like does this demon face and becomes the boss. Ah. It, it's really it, it. It was really just fucked up, if I remember correctly. I was just like Nintendo. What the fuck? Why would you put this in a kids game? <laughs> it's a little farthest much. All I, I got was when you get, I think, to a, a bridge, either that or you were trying to climb up some kind of tower from the inside. I, I don't remember. We'll see. That that doesn't even help me, even if I wanted to like try to remember. Because, I mean, any... like, that, that could that could apply to a lot of things. I remember there's a bridge that gets bombed. And that's pretty early on, if I remember correctly. Well, all I know is I need to get back into it. Now I'm probably going to get a Wii version. I mean, like, far be it for me to say, like, no, you can't. It can't happen. Yeah. I don't know. Seriously. Like, I should, I should go back and play Twilight Princess. I should, too. Well, I mean, like, I, I should... Just so, like, I can take my time and remember everything, or at least remember why I don't remember everything. Because, I, I, I swear, sometimes you'll play a game and you'll be like, Oh, yeah, that's why I don't remember this. Nothing's memorable. Well, in my case, I just need to fit, do it so I can do it. Um, I, I remember yeah. a lot of people really like the fact that you run into, like, this old uh, skeleton swordsman. And they're like that. That's the old Link. That's that's like Link from uh, I think Ocarina of Time. I could be wrong, but I think the Historia actually uh, covers this topic where it's like that's that's uh that's one of the Links in one of the games. Yeah, I remember hearing about and, that. And um, I, I think that's kind of cool. I thought that was a, a, a neat little nod. Uh, the only thing I have to say is like it, it's kind of weird since that's Link. Uh, and he's talking, you know, we don't, we never really hear Link talk, you know, he never really says anything except, you know, whenever he's falling it, or like whenever he's like s swinging his sword and he's just like yelling. Well, from what I understand, it's basically debatable as to whether that is Link. I don't know if they confirmed it or not. I don't know. I, I, but, see, I, I believe it's Link though. Because huh. it's but, like, why wouldn't it be Link? Yeah. Either way, it's a cool debate, I guess. Uh, I guess. Some, somebody, I think, once told me that, uh, that, no, it wasn't Link because Link was somewhere else at the time. And whenever he supposedly died or whatever. Mm -hmm. But, but yeah. see, like, the thing is, you're in, like, this alternate dimension. Mm -hmm. I don't know, like, it, it does, doesn't really matter where Link is when you, when, uh, where he died or whatever. Does it? Yeah. I guess like it's summoning spirit, a spirit from another dimension. I mean, I mean like, I, I feel like you're in this, like, realm that's, like, kind of in, in between the afterlife and, and whatever, so you can contact your ancestor, because, I mean, technically that's what it would be, right? Your Link, and then, you know, your ancestor's Link. 
Was he supposedly fighting his ancestor, or was he? I, I think his ancestor was training him. That that's what it is. Oh. I mean that that that's what makes sense to me as as a gamer and as as, as a person. It, it's like, um, you know, your ancestor is like this is the ancient ability passed down from me, your ancestor, Link. Here, Link. Let me teach you <laughs> the ancient the sword thing. technique that I learned. It took me years. They both happen to be named Link. Well, I mean, every depiction of Link is named Link. Yeah, that's true. Just like every depiction of Zelda is named Zelda, except for in The Wind Waker, where you have Tetra. Yeah, but then she discovers she was Zelda. So. Yeah, well, I don't know. She's a descendant of Zelda. In any case, um... It just happened to name or something different. In any case... Also... Also, you want to know what I never really understood? Like, maybe I'm just looking too far into it. But, so you got the Wind Waker, right? And I love the Wind Waker, let me tell you something. Number six on my top ten favorite games. Still haven't finished that one either. Um... But here's right. the thing. No, no, no. This isn't much of a spoiler. Like, right from the get-go, like... Uh, this is something that's made very clear. Uh, so in the Wind Waker, you have a sister and you have a grandma. Mm -hmm. I can accept that, you know, grandpa's not in the picture because, you know, it's, it's possible that grandpa died some time ago. Uh, but, you know what the weird thing is? Link has, like, has parents. He has a mom and a dad, and they're never mentioned. <laughs> like, like, there's no indication of, like, his mom or his dad. Like... There's no story like, you know, they went left on an adventure to go explore the rest of the world or like, you know, there's no depiction that, you know, may maybe Link is just, you know, he's just here temporarily and they're going to come back or they died or I don't know anything. I, I would like something here, just, just a little bit of sustenance, you know, like maybe when, you know, Link is leaving to save his sister. Like, his grandma could be like, no, your father or mother. Because, I don't know, like, there's no indication of whether, like, uh, his grandma had had a son or daughter. And it's very possible, like, maybe she adopted them as, as young kids. I'm not going to rule that out, considering we have no indication of, like, a mom or dad here. All I know is, I just really need to beat those games on it. Yeah, well, I mean, like, Wind Waker is one of my favorite games, one of my absolute favorite games. But Majora's Mask is also up there. I mean, uh, the weirdest thing about The Legend of Zelda, like the series in general, uh, you could you can actually make a list. You can you can order like the games in a list of like your favorites, mm -hmm. or at least I think you. I think it's like that with a lot of series, but uh, I find The Legend of Zelda is definitely one of those one of those series that you can do that. Yeah. And I mean, like, you know, so my, my top two are, like, uh, Majora's Mask and The Wind Waker. Yeah. But, um... You know, like I told you before, I would have beaten it a long time ago. Mm -hmm. My friend uh, borrowed it, and he borrowed it for, like, a really long time. Finally beat it. When he brought it back, I was busy doing something else. Wait, which game are I we just, talking about? A Wind Waker. Oh, okay. And I just never got around to it. Well, I mean, you can you can always get it for the Wii U. I already got it for the Wii U. Well, then why haven't you played it? Just haven't gotten around to it. <laughs> Future ruler. It's just one of those things. Future <laughs> ruler. I guess I could cheat and watch Aaron do it on Game Grumps. <laughs> you know, there, there's legitimately a good, uh... There's legitimately a good part during that entire series. It, it, it gets super real. <laughs> no, I mean, like, you're, you're... I'm not kidding. Like, Dan just, like, bleeds his heart out. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's one of those oddly, like, just super real episodes that's just... It's kind of out of place, but at the same time, like, it's it's also just, like, this really nice introspect into, like, the person that the guy is. Yeah, so basically, dead serious grumps? Uh, yeah, yeah. 
But I mean, uh, like, you know, at, at the same time, like, uh, I, I, I have some shit that I, I could say. Like, not, not like, negatively. I mean, I have some, like, own personal shit that I could share with everybody. Uh, but I, I don't know. I feel like it'd be a slightly a tad unfitting. Uh, especially because if you haven't seen that, you know, it, it might be worth a check. It might be worth a look. It might be worth checking out. I don't know. I will leave it to you. I'm not gonna suggest that you do that, and I'm not gonna suggest that you don't. Alright. But my point is, I, I, I really think you should play the Wind Waker before you actually go look up, like, you know, Game Grumps or some other Let's Player. Maybe I'll, like, play it along, alongside Breath of the Wild, you know, Breath of the Wild one day, Wind Waker the next. I mean, like, may maybe. Um, are, are you just gonna have, like, a Zelda-thon? Just, just, just go through a whole bunch of like the the games on your own. Can I do it in a particular order, or just? I mean, well, not real. I mean, it. Do I don't think it really matters. See, that's the thing about the Legend of Zelda. Uh, <laughs> there is a timeline, but at the same time, you can kind of tackle the games in any order that you want. It doesn't really matter because it, it's really hard to kind of think of it as a timeline. Because if you look at the story and you look. At at what they what Nintendo officially made as the timeline there's three branching path pat uh, like paths from Ocarina of Time like there's three different paths and they all kind of uh, have games that fall into them but at the same time it's it's really confusing so if you want you can play like any of the games in any like order I don't think it really matters if you're super if you're super strict about trying to like pay attention to one particular timeline though then yeah I'd, I'd say like try to play the games in that timeline but otherwise probably, I'd say like nah it doesn't matter I'll probably just play them out of order I mean like, like it's uh, up to you like I uh, I did with Shantae um yeah, I played half I beat half Genie Hero but I haven't oh yeah that. yeah sorry you said Shantae and I was like what oh yeah yeah I'm sorry, I'm unfamiliar with the series. Yeah, basically, um, Half Genie Hero is the most recent game. And I played the others, but I haven't beaten them. No. It was good. I'm thinking about going backwards. No. Well, um, I mean, like, if I remember correctly, isn't there, like, a game for the Game, the game Boy? Like, the break Game Boy? Uh. Game Boy Color, there was a. Oh, uh, okay. It was it was a breakout game for that, but um, it was it was popular amongst a niche amount of fans. So it, it was a cult classic. Yeah, and then um, there was enough of them to request a sequel, and they decided to make a sequel, and it sold well enough and got new people into it, and so now they got three more games. Okay, I gotcha. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm probably gonna do that do it with that and I'm probably gonna do the same thing with Persona. Persona. Uh, Alright, yeah, I got there there's a lot I can talk about Persona because I beat the third game and it's like my god, it, it's good. Uh but I have not beaten the fourth one because I hear it's so drastically different from the third one in terms in terms of tone. So like you'll play it and if you have like the same mindset that you did for three you will be disappointed. Like, everyone I've talked to who's ever, like, gone from 3 to 4 has just been, like, it, it, I, I, it, like they're just speechless because they can't put into words how drastic the tone shifts. I think I think one person, uh, one person that I talked to actually said, uh, going into Persona 4, you have to have the mindset, like, you're gonna watch Scooby-Doo, because it's a, it's a bit more whimsical than the serious tone that Persona 3 tried to portray. Uh, I think I heard that Persona 4 has some serious moments in it, and, like, there, there's a lot of really good things to it. It's just that you cannot, you cannot have the same mindset, because, like, you're gonna be let down. You're gonna be like, it's just gonna like throw you off. It's gonna throw you a curveball, in other words. 
So three is basically serious and four is not polar opposites of each other. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Because I haven't played four. I just, I'm just, like, I'm just saying what I've heard. Right. But you, basically, your favorite's three, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I haven't did. played two, because, uh... I have yet to find means to play to, although I think I heard that it had a PSP port, so I might be able to actually try to see if I can, uh, I can go get that. I do have Persona, though, for, uh, my PSP. Right, uh, I, I got, like, this weird collector's edition when I got, like, Persona, or that's just how it comes, I don't know. Point is, I got a soundtrack with the game. So, uh... I got, um, I got all four of them, but I haven't played them yet. Yeah. But, uh, I'm, I kind of enjoyed Sim Shimigami Tensei. Uh, which one? Because <laughs> that's a series. I know that it's a series in itself. Yeah. But I, I think it's either from, Persona's either from the maker of it or... Uh, it's a it's spin off of, of... Well, I mean, it's, it's also, like, it's also related, but it's, it's more of a spin off. If you want to get into the technicals. So yeah, I like the Shimigami. I like one of the Shimigami Tensei games. Actually, I like more than one of them. So I. Uh, I mean, like you're talking about the main series, right? When you say Shimigami Tensei. I guess. Well, I mean that 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 is the main series. It's just that like I can't I can't picture you saying I like Shimigami Tensei and like you referring to the old school NES like the old school oh, NES no. game that came out first in like I think 19 like 1980 something I don't even know it might have been 1990s I, point is it's like it's, it's so it's so weird I got exposed to it I was like what the heck am I playing yeah I've never played that one yeah, I didn't think you did. So it's like I'm, I'm trying to think. Like, what what game are you uh, talking about? I don't know. It's one it, of the is it is it the one for the 3ds? Yeah, it's one of the ones for. The I 3DS. think if it's what I'm thinking of, it's either uh, it's either four. Uh, you might if it's from like the stickers that you were talking about, then it's Devil Survivor. It's Devil Survivor. I can't talk today. I'm trying and I can't yeah. talk. I haven't actually gotten around to Devil Survivor yet, okay. but it's one of the... Uh, I think it's Dole something. I, uh, I, I played Devil Survivor. I have that for the DS, and then I got a remake for the 3DS with voice acting. And it, it, it's, I think it's better, but at the same time, it's still the same game. Mm -hmm. uh, my, my point is, like, I don't know. Does voice acting really make or break a game? I don't know, I was just looking for a version that I could play that was an RPG. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, you know, Shimagami Tensei, I, I like Shimagami Tensei. It's, it's, it's so obtuse, but also, like, pretty decent. It's like, do you want to fight this enemy, or do you want to talk to this? No, it's, well, yeah, but at the same time, I was saying, like, you got elements of, like, Pokemon, and, like, you got the, uh, yeah, you, you can, like, fuse your monsters together to create better monsters, and it's, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, and they're all based around, like, mythological creatures from different mythologies. Like, the... Like, you can... You can... You can pinpoint, like, a bunch of them to different, like, sorts of mythologies. Like, uh... You got Greek... No. I was gonna say Greek mythology, but I'm not actually sure if Greek is a thing. I I'm gonna say it is, because, like, again, so many different mythologies. You got, like, Hindu... Um... You got... You got, like, um, Japanese folklore, you got, like, um, Roman, Roman, a bunch of them, Roman like, gods, a bunch of them yokai, uh, I think there's some yokai-esque enemies, I cannot, I can't, I, like, it's one of those things where it's like, I, I could try to, like, look this up, but at the same time, I'm not, I'm just kind of like, I'm just thinking off the top of my head. So it's kind of like your question, um, I don't know, I, I haven't played like a Shin Megami Tensei game in a while. So it's kind of like, I, I only remember like a select few. Main, mainly the ones that like were my favorites, or the ones that really stood out. 
So do they go into the history of the monsters in it? Um, I think there's something that talks about it, but also I think it kind of depends uh, on which game, because I don't think all the games will actually, like, go into super depth, or they'll have, like, some sort of like, uh, some sort, some sort of, like, uh, what is it called? Like, um, damn, I don't even know. See, you're, you're throwing me for a curveball, and I can't even think of, like, normal words. Uh, okay. I don't know. I was going to say journal entry, but I mean, like, uh, I don't even think that's right. Cyclopedia. It's written down somewhere, basically. I, I don't know. Basically, it, like, sometimes, like, depending on the game, you'll have, like, a profile on the, uh, on, on the, on the guy, on the character. Alright, I bet. I get it. Yeah, alright. I, I don't know, like, personally, it, it all depends which game you're talking about. I don't think, uh, Devil Survivor does. Anyways, that's not the point that I play him. The point that I play him is to like just, just create like the best character ever, which sometimes is like I don't know some something really random, like uh, I don't know. I, I guess it doesn't matter. Anyways, so. So what else do you want to talk about? Because this has been kind of weird. We've been talking about Zelda and uh, the Shimagami Tensei series. Uh, oh, one more thing on the Shimagami Tensei. Okay. It, uh, three, the one where you, you like uh, eventually go up there and you fight God. Uh, no. Well, I mean... When, when you say God, I mean, like, you fight, like, a God-like being, but it's not, like, God. It's, it's oh. Nyx. You fight Nyx. I think, I think you, like, um... Which I think it... Where, Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Like, I think Spoony or somebody did a video where he said... He was talking about, uh, and I, I know which one you're talking about. Uh, he was talking about, um, I think it was Nocturne. Oh. I'm pretty sure it was Nocturne. Well, uh, it, it, he, he it, it might, might not be Nocturne, but I, I, I think it was Nocturne. I, I thought it might have been the Persona series, but you, no, uh, like um, team up with God and fight. I mean, the devil would fight God. I, uh, I think that's Nocturne. Oh, okay. Uh, that's technically Shimagami Tensei three, apparently. I, I was going to say, so you got, like, Persona 3, and in that one, the final boss is Nyx, who is, like, um, I, I think it's, like, the Mother of the Night or something like that. She, I'm pretty sure, like, she comes from Greek mythology. Yeah, so, hey, Greek mythology. I wasn't sure, and then all of a sudden it's, like, my mind tries to go back to, like, a specific one, and you know what? I'm pretty sure Nyx is Greek mythology. All right. So, what's Nocturne, anyways? Nocturne? Nocturne is per, uh, Shimagami Tensei 3. Oh. Nocturne is oh, just oh, like oh, the, okay. the, the subtitle to it. Everyone refers to it as Nocturne. Oh, I got Persona confused with uh, Shimagami Tensei. Well, I mean, they're the same. Like, one, they're the same series. One's just a spin off. Like, Persona is literally. Shimagami Tensei Persona insert number here. Okay. Um. What system was Nocturne for? Uh. Well, I'm off the top of my head, I'm gonna say PlayStation Two, but I think it was also released for something else. But I'm gonna say PlayStation 2, because that one, I, I actually own it. For sure, I know it's for the PlayStation 2. So it never got re-released then? Um, I don't know. I, I, see, you're asking me questions I don't know. I'm not, I'm not like the type, type of guy to answer this to. I'd have to, I'd have to literally go onto the inter, internets and like type this into the Google search bar and like see what pops up. Well, I'll, I'll, now that I know the name of it, I'll look it up later. All right. But um, I I just w hope they uh, or wish they would 
remake that one because I, I kind of like the story of that. Which one? The one we were talking about, Nocturne. Oh. Well, I mean, like, you haven't played it, though. No, oh, but I, the story sounds really good. Cool. The, the story that Spoonie said. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, like, all I, all I have to say is, like, go play it. Well, I mean, like, you want to know the really interesting thing about Shimagami Tensei Nocturne? Yeah. So, Dante is in it. Dante from... Devil May Cry. <laughs> well, legitimately, really? he's in the game. What does he do in there? Um, he does stuff. You fight him. He, he's legitimately in the game. He, he just goes around like a badass, because, you know, that's Dante. Mm -hmm. Before they tur turned him into something else. I don't know. You want you want to hear something completely blasphemous? What? I've never played a Devil May Cry game. I've only played one. I've never played a Devil May Cry game. I own two for whatever reason, but I've never played a Devil May Cry game. Like I played three and I really liked it. I mean, like I, I hear it's good, or maybe I'm thinking of Devil May Cry four. I don't even know. Point is like. I, I, I've never played a Devil May Cry game, and I hear they're great. Like, I really enjoy 3. Um, I, uh, I yeah. hear that, like, um, you're you're not a true gamer until you play Devil May Cry. Uh, I guess I'm not a true gamer. No, you played it. I haven't. Well, I played a Devil yeah, May Cry. Yeah, so, you know, it, you, you played it. I haven't. Like, the... the one of the things I like in the game is there's like this bullet time kind of battle thing where you knock an enemy up in the air, for example, and you just slash the shit out of them. I, I wouldn't know because <laughs> I've never played one. The only bullet time like thing I've played Payne. is uh, Max Payne. I also do stuff like that in like Bayonetta and... Uh, I've never played Bayonetta. Uh, yeah. uh, this is going to be tell... Uh, but again, I, I'll uh, let everyone yeah. down. That, that's literally what this part is going to be called. It's, it's, I've let everyone down. Every, everyone Basically, thinks less of me now. I haven't played Bayonetta either, but that's what I've heard. Well, I mean, I like, I, I don't know, Bayonetta. Go play Bayonetta. I've never played, I played Bayonetta. I played, like, two or three God of Wars. I played I the first God of War, and then I got upset whenever you had to fight, like, those Cerberus monster things. Because they keep multiplying, and if you don't take care of them, they they just become a huge mess, and you're just like, fuck this shit, I'm done. You get frustrated. I played, I played like, one, and I think I played two. I played one, but and I, I was, like, beat. legitimately trying to get far into the game, but I don't think I got that far. I got pretty far. Oh, got, let me like... tell you something. Kratos is the most graceful character He's the most graceful video game character I've seen of to date. Well, graceful for a guy who uses a lot of No, 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 no. Like, just, just go play, like, God of War 1. Like, notice his footwork as he's swinging his chains. And then, to top it off, just, just put some classical music as, as you're watching him do this. I swear to God, he is, he is so graceful when he swings those chain whips it, it's almost uh, it's very ballet-esque point i got up to was when you're pushing a box around and trying to get up on it um or, that, uh, that doesn't help me in the slightest because i feel uh, from what i remember there's a lot of that <laughs> Yeah, it's a pain in the ass puzzle. Well, I mean, like, uh, there's, there's a lot of things that can be summarized as a pain in the ass puzzle. I was playing Shovel Knight, and you know what? I got into a pain in the ass puzzle, and it involved uh, jumping onto dirt clods. Yep. Yep. So, anyways. So... I don't know what else to say other than this has been like group therapy with me, Gildum, and Future Ruler. Yeah, one, two, three. One, two, three. I, I, I'm going. I'm going to link your channel into the uh, into the end thing. But anyways, before we leave, do you have anything else you want to say? 
No, not really. Not really. Well, I, I don't know. Everyone give him a hand and I guess we're out. <laughs>